goes. Okay, so first question, any questions? Yes. You? Is that a question or are you just waving at me? Judah, their microphone. Oh, okay. Their microphone. Oh, sorry. So there's a mic right there, so you don't take my, my mic? Is that like my mic? Somebody will bring it to them. Somebody will bring it to you. Good. Okay, awesome. Just raise your hand. So there you go. If you have any questions for the Kai Bigan family, please do. Uh, Share with us, ask your questions. Family. Yeah. I got my Kai Beacons with me. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Anyway, okay. All right, all right. First question. Hello, hello. Okay, uh, yeah, congratulations uh, to the actors, to those who shared scenes with uh, Sir Stephen Baldwin. How was it uh, working with them? And to the second question, to the twins, how much of the film? Uh, is based on real life. I'm sorry, Tagalog, please. Albon, 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 Albon. Ah, yeah. Uh, uh, was it the first day we shot with Baldwin? The very first day we shot with Baldwin. Um, of course, I met Baldwin before because he's good friends with uh, my compadre, our good Senator Manny Pacquiao. I, I will meet him in Las Vegas, and he will come to Manny's room and pray. Because he's uh, one of those uh, really um, uh, strong Christian faith actors, and, and um, very professional. And uh, he he kind of like, I mean, it's it's kind of nice to finally have. I'm not saying we, we're not professional, but to have a professional actor from Hollywood with 30 years of experience, it kind of put every, puts everyone into into that. Um, into that professional mode. And he's very, he's, he's, he, he's friendly, he jokes around, but when the camera rolls, you got, you gotta be, you, can, you gotta put your actor's hat, everybody can be, and everybody has to be quiet. You know, and, and we, we, I think we can learn a lot from him, yes. Yeah, and uh, oh, I had the privilege to have him as my dad in the movie, so, uh, Sorry, Dad. I have a new dad. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like you said, he was—he was—it was really such a great experience to work with him. He was—he's uh, a, a great person and super professional. Really good at what he does, and it's cool that I, because he came here because he loves the Philippines, and uh, I think that shows in the movie that uh, the work he did as well. So uh, yeah, it was a great experience, and he's now my second favorite dad behind my dad. <laughs> And then the second question, how much of it is, in, is true life? Um, it's not a true life story based on my brother and I, obviously, because we're, we're not brothers in the film. But oh, there, there are a lot of realistic things. Like, for instance, some of the scene. my dad in the movie, sorry, dad, again, is Tirso Cruz. And he, so he's my father in the movie. And his, his character is, uh, I don't want to spoil it too much, but he's uh, like super preachy father. Ganon. So... There, not not that it was my dad's like that, but there are a lot of just really realistic uh, dynamics like that that hopefully a lot of people can relate to. So yeah, you know, like I I wouldn't say anything here is legitimately like true to life or based on true life, but everything is super relatable. So yeah. awesome, that was great. Now I'll tell you how it was like not to work with him. Um, how was it? It, you know, there was a lot of jealousy that I was working uh -huh. with. I'm like, na ba ako? Hindi ba ako ng artista? Sige, mag-host na lang ako. I think there was a problem with your talent fee. Yeah. So, that's why I'm here hosting, guys. Anyway, so, okay. Okay, next question, next question. Thank you. Hi, um, Teresa. Uh, for the twins, I just mentioned you're, you're right, the, the script. Where, what, how is, I mean, what's your inspiration? Where did you get it to be able to finish? the script, knowing that you're so young, and basically some of their uh, great uh, writers or script writers are in their prime. Actually, they're, they're not that young. This is screen age 26. They're actually 45. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I, actually, it's, we, won't, we, we don't want to even take full credit in the month for writing the script. Actually, so our family kind of came up collectively with the story of the film. And then uh, we had help, this guy named Blake Sarion who helped 
draft the screenplay, initial screenplay, but it was for the parang mas short film uh, length. And so after Baldwin came here to the Philippines, we needed to add a lot more stuff. So that's where my brother and I, and my, even my dad, kind of came in, and just and, and Derek Daniel as well, just filling out the script. And like I said, we've kind of had this story for a, a long time now. So it's always been there. And to give you the real answer, though, it was only by God's grace because, like I said, my brother and I, we, this is the first uh, first script we've ever written. So. Um, it came together. It was a it was a miracle. I, I put it that way. But like I said, we we had a lot of help as well, and um, we just really wanted to craft a story that it's exciting and cool, but at the same time, okay, your mga dialogue scenes may may purpose din, your mga dialogue ng mga characters may substance din. So that was always our intention. So yeah, by God's grace, this is the short answer. All right, and also, guys, we have a microphone in the back, so if you have any questions, you know, don't be scared. There's a, you don't have to walk that far to make yourself seen. Just pick it up and ask, ask your question back there. Awesome. Hi, my question is, aside family value or friendship, what else can we learn in, in this movie? What's your name? Margaret. And what? Publication. You, uh, what? Publication. <laughs> What website? What? 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 Which, what? Which up you're from? <laughs> no, we just like to know uh, what company and what maybe what publication. A blogger. Okay, blogger. Thank you. Yeah, I, you can. The cool thing is you can learn a lot about this. So of course, our my brother and I, our our advocacy is, is no drugs, no smoking, no alcohol, no bullying. So we kind of touch on those things, and it's not the mana super like in your face. Don't do this, don't do that. But like I said, the, the characters and what they say, it's they, they talk about those things. But um, you can also learn about a lot about uh, family issues, how to deal with your kids. So this is a like a, a student based movie. But hopefully, families can learn a lot too uh, on uh, parents about how to how to uh, interact with their children or how not to interact with their children. So there are a lot of super applicable life lessons that hopefully people can, people can learn here and like I said there's basketball in it too so there's a lot about working hard studying hard uh, just things like that so it's um, very diverse in its lesson learning yeah and don't forget nandito naman kami matatanda for the older diba hindi lang naman puro bato may matatanda and also may, may uh, romance element in the movie so we have some uh, uh, relationship advice there then so check it out all right thank you thank you okay thank you for that question anyone else so good no, you need, thank you so much i'll give you my mic hi i'm isa from the manila times for the tickets again you have to do acting workshops or is it really natural for you to be back on screen Oh, I wish it was supernatural for us to be back on screen. But of course, we we did some uh, some training, and we uh, like I said, the, the beautiful thing and kind of medjamadaya. But my brother and I, like I said, we were surrounded by you know these amazing actors, and on the set they would just you know give us advice. Hey, maybe a little bit less like this, or add a little bit more stuff like that. But yeah, to answer your question, before when we actually first moved here to the, the Philippines, we. We did a lot of acting, so not a lot of acting, but a lot of like kind of training as well. So, um, yeah, we. I, I wish it was super God-given born talent, but uh, we we worked hard as well. Now, yeah, I think, we, I think they're just being nice. We're yelling at them on the street. Hi, come on, come on. No, every, yeah, no. I want to correct that because everyone was super nice. It's from the directors to cool actors. No, no, no. I wish we did. Our, our movie budget isn't high enough to take the 20 takes. We all have to finish it off right away. Yeah, so so we did do workshops, and Champagne, we're always learning. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. It's easy to act then when your co-actors are so amazing. So you kind of feed off of their their acting as well. Yeah. Sorry, I'm me again. Larissa from Manila Society. Uh, to direct, you mentioned a while the 20 takes, so could you mention, no, no, I know, you're, you're joking, I know you're joking, uh, but is it okay for you to mention the scene that you're, yung parang pinakamahirap na scene that you, in a, in a, uh, scene na direct, I mean, do some movie. Uh, 
there yung pinakang mahirap. I mean, it's sabi ko, close to 20 takes. <laughs> well, well, there were no really hard scenes to take because, uh, of course, we, all, we were all surrounded by professionals. But uh, the more uh, everybody could cry on cue, the, wow. the harder parts <laughs> were actually were actually the setting up. So we had we had we had the longer we had the long, we took longer setting up and planning the shots. We really had to plan everything properly. So of course, just to save the time of the actors as well. And then everything just flowed very nicely. I mean the. We followed the lead of the of the veterans, so uh, an actor's cue, everything went went, uh, went perfectly. Also, so we didn't have any scenes that were particularly difficult. Last uh, question. Yes. One more question. Yeah, yeah, last last question, We're gonna be charging up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Also, again, I I hope you could mention uh, to the artists. Um, What's the highlight of each of your role that we should uh, watch for? If it's okay to mention, but yeah, if not, it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, my role in the movie is very short. Um, I play the role of the girlfriend of Christian. So. Hey! <laughs> I play one of the teachers, and it uh, kind of brings in the aspect of bullying within um, the youth nowadays. Uh, I love that there are, as they mentioned, there are so many different um, issues that are targeted in this movie, and it they all are, they come across very subtly, but it's nice that it's relatable for a lot of the youth and different age groups nowadays. Um, very relatable messages uh, that people can connect to from all different backgrounds. So, it, it did make the acting easier. Um, yeah, so I, I bullying, I guess, is, is my answer. Uh, on the one, I play a um, basketball coach. And we all know, um, yung trabaho ng coach is almost like a guidance counselor. You know, it's like the second father on the team, so that's kind of like a, um, a vital role in the movie. Si, si Jessica said that they were So, uh, bringing in <laughs> a bad guy into a good, good, you know, basketball team. There are challenges, but just kind of watch the movie. I'm going to speak for some actors that are not here. Um, I don't want to give the scenes away at all, but I'm just telling you, there's a role with Tirso Cruz, which is a tearjerker role. I mean, it's the best role I've ever seen him do. He's just amazing. Um, Cesar Montano has some amazing roles on there as well. Baldwin, with his relationship with his, his son, my son. Um, also, just absolutely amazing. Our son, yeah. And, and then again, Lenny Mercado as a, a mother, and also Gene Garcia as a mother. Really tender moments with them. So I think every single actor in the movie has a memorable scene that you will say, wow, man, I can't believe they or she, he or she did that scene. So I think you'll find it fascinating. And I, we mentioned there's some cameo roles, some comedic roles, which you're going to go home with and say, man, that was really funny. And then there's some really tender moments. There's some really dramatic moments. There's some really uh, you know, tear-jerking kind of things. So there's a little bit of everything. And I mentioned we have some cameo roles from Tim Cohn is in the movie. Um, uh, Venus Ross in the movie, uh, Danica Sotis in the movie. I mean, each one of them, his sister, I mean, she, his sister, uh, Butz Anson Rojas, in the movie, and she plays like the, the matriarch who is constantly grounded in the word. And her role is so beautiful throughout the whole movie. She's like the grandmother that we all want. It's just so beautiful to watch her scenes, too. So I think every single character is fully developed. And every actor in the movie was made for their roles. They're just absolutely amazing. So um, you got to watch the movie to see all these things. They'll blow your mind. Uh, I play David Santos, one of the uh, the students in the film. And my character, I'm just going to spoil it for you guys because maybe you can even tell from the trailer. But I am the, the quote, good guy in for, with regards to both of us. So I'm the one who kind of tries to influence him to, to change his life. But at the same time, there's a bit of a conflict. I say, but I don't know if it's worth it. Then I say he he get he begins to um, 
do really well, and then I'm like, wait a minute, like, is this really what I wanted to do? Help him this much? So, a lot of realistic stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's that's me, David Santos. And I'm the bad guy in the Fortnite, but <laughs> not in real life. But uh, yeah, and, and to answer your question, the most memorable scene, I guess, uh, the whole thing was memorable. So it's hard to pick exactly what was the most memorable, but. Uh, Maybe when you watch it, you can see what's the most memorable in your eyes. Um, I forgot to ask this in our movie. How did you guys decide who's going to play the good or the bad? But the but pick. That's a good Filipino way too. Because no, either way can play. Bag you know? yeah. him being the the bad one or what? Because he's wearing black. Maybe that's why. He's taller. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. Either way. Thank you for that question. Like, would you want me to answer that too? No, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. So I have one scene, but it's 20 minutes long. So look out for that one. You won't miss it. Okay, question. Thank you. Go back! Hi, Bill. Thank you, Judah. Thank you. Uh, looks like the film is very interesting, beautiful, nice and vocal one. Thank you. Beautiful music from, our, of course, our friend Danny. I'm just interested about the twins. Can we go? Uh, uh, away from the film. Let's talk about you guys. Since you're twins, you may be identical, you may not be identical, you're twins, but you have, you're different persons from each other. Who is the most mobile? Who's the most mobile? Say in the dialogue. Who's the more kind guy? Who's the, the kinder one? Who's the, the, the good one? Who's the good boy? Better boy? Uh, I, I, that's hard to say. We're both, I, I, I hate to even sound so like arrogant, but we're both pretty nice guys and okay. yeah I don't know I'd say my brother and I'd say my brother <laughs> he got you yes he got you he got you with that don't you 